Hi, welcome to CIDC Nirman. I'm Jayashree Kurup. I'm editor CIDC Nirman, and I have with me Mr. Pradeep Agarwal from the Ministry of Rural Development. Sir, thank you so much for joining us. Tell us about you. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the award, the uh, Vishwakarma Award. Tell us w uh, what was the project that got you the award? Yes. Okay. Uh, so thank you so much for giving me this opportunity to tell about the award. I am Pradeep Agarwal, and I belong to Indian Defence Service of Engineers of 1988 batch. My parent cadre is Ministry of Defence. And uh, about this award, uh, which has been given to the public officer uh, for the recognition of my service, which I feel for last 35 years, what I have put in my efforts and the opportunities which I got uh, throughout my career. So I worked with the Ministry of Defence and for military engineer services for the defence infrastructure all over the country. And uh, as recent, uh, for about five, seven years back, I was working for the northeastern infrastructure for the army uh, and the defence forces. So that was the one thing and then the another opportunity which I got was uh, from 2011 to 2016 while I was working as the head infrastructure in Ministry of Heavy Industries wherein uh, the, the government effort was, uh, the project was named as National Automotive R&D Infrastructure Project which was focused to create the R&D infrastructure in the country so that our auto manufacturer, uh, while well, they, they are developing the vehicle, they need not to go to the con out of the country and our foreign currency drain out and all that. Uh -huh. And then the job creation and the capability creation. So in that, I developed seven centers across the country, uh, over a greenfield project of more than 7,000 acres of land. And in that uh, one uh, big project which was uh, executed in Indore, Pitampura, that was on a land of 4,000 acre. There we constructed the uh, high speed uh, proving ground, high speed test track for testing the vehicles for a speed of more than 350 km per hour. Mm -hmm. So those were the challenges and then uh, I have created uh, advanced uh, passive safety crash lab at Chennai that is Global Automotive Research Center which has now enabled the government and the uh, auto industry to produce safe vehicles because in our country we didn't have the certification facilities for the passive safety in the vehicle to reduce the fatalities yeah. and to reduce the accident and reduce the death mm -hmm. because you know in a road accident causes so many deaths so the other reason accident will happen accident will happen we can't stop it but then we have to make the vehicle in such a way that the vehicle gives you passive safety and the passengers are saved so in european vehicle as you heard about the global uh, uh, ncap uh, uh, global ncap uh, new car assessment program so we were, our vehicles were failing in the ncap and our cmvr was not aligned with the global safety requirement because we didn't have even the test facilities for the testing airbags or the abs brakes uh -huh. or for the vehicle development so this was a very big project of more than 3500 crore and it was a sick project actually when i took over uh -huh. unfortunately because it involves lot money technological intervention and the country uh, we have to take the consultancy from various uh -huh. uh, iits and from abroad also so this is how the project was revived and uh, that has now put India into the global map where we proudly say that now we have the high, the biggest proving ground in the country which is at Indore. So that was that project. The another project which I want to talk about my present uh, assignment in Ministry of Rural Development that is National Rural Infrastructure Development Agency. So in that actually you know that we do Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana and so far we have constructed more than 7 lakh. 50,000 kilometer of road and our Honorable Prime Minister uh, is, fo is, is focus is that the rural roads mm -hmm. and the highways everything gets improved. So under our uh, Honorable Minister Sri Girna Singh Ji and our Secretary Sri Shailendra Kumar Ji and our Director General of the NRID Sri Amesh Shukla Ji. So under that their guidance what we are doing that we are putting IT intervention for the project management, monitoring, quality, construction in real time. Okay. And the another issue which uh, we did actually, which, which is nowhere in the world can match that, that we have implemented performance based maintenance contract. Okay. That means the rural roads, they have to perform, then only the contractor will get the payment oh. for the construction as well as maintenance. Okay. So if the roads are bad and if the roads are not getting marks on 14 parameters, that through digital intervention, no human intervention, it is all objective evidence based system which is called eMark. Mm -hmm. So that was implemented, <coughs> we started its implementation and development since 2019 
and within a very short period of time about 6 or 8 months we have rolled it out and uh, all over india okay. to the all these states okay. and uh, i am happy to share that uh, for last two and a half years through this system we have paid uh, payment bills evidence based objective system 3200 crore okay. and out of 3200 crore we have neatly saved 1200 crore uh, to make not to make the payment on the because of the some bad condition uh -huh. and the, we deducted the payment from the contractors payment uh -huh. and there has been no single case of any legal uh, claims uh -huh. or any dispute because our system is so well aligned with the evidence technological intervention every data is available uh -huh. so it is perfect in alignment with our contract condition and that has given a success and now uh, for all the infrastructure as i said uh, during my award ceremony that we must switch over to performance based system performance based maintenance contract of every infrastructure to get user satisfaction at the highest level and not on the basis of what work has been done and what has been paid for example i'll tell you one thing uh, like in a road if a road let's say in the month of january the road started deteriorating now the contractor comes after one year let's say because the maintenance contract is given to the contractor but it is not profitable for him so what he'll do he'll keep waiting let the road gets damaged and by december or by tw after 12 months or something he will start repairing let's say uh -huh. so now whatever he'll repair because he didn't repair in time so your potholes and other things are increasing the public is inconvenienced and at the end of the year, neatly he will do all the work, let's say. Let's say he do mm -hmm. a great job, a good work, and he'll get all the payment. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then suppose there are some four or five places which are very difficult to handle, he will not do that. Mm -hmm. So he'll not get that payment. Now everything is fine that he got the payment, what he did. Now we forget one thing, 11 months or 12 mm -hmm. months the public has suffered and he got his payment and he left the bad work which he could not do. Now in the performance based maintenance contract, Every month, the road condition is being uh, calculated digitally through the artificial intelligence, through the various photographs. And then every month, if he doesn't do, let's say in January he doesn't do, February he doesn't do, in March he does. January, February he'll not get the payment. Okay. January, February he'll not get the payment. And if he leaves one or two potholes, he will not get entire payment. Okay. So this is the uh, log algorithm which we have developed successfully all over the India we are doing for Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana for last three years and there has been no dispute, no claim, no court cases, no arbitration, nothing. Okay. So this is what uh, some of the things I have, uh, whatever I got the opportunity in various my appointments right from the defense and to the Ministry of Industry and now Ministry of Rural Development. So this is what I thought the CIDC, <laughs> I am thankful to CIDC to recognize these efforts. Thank you so much. Wonderful work and keep up the good work. Thank you so much. Thank you.